<coughs> sharing, sharing hate posts online could lead to six months jail as judges recommend harsh punishment for internet trolls who torment racial, religious, or sexual minority groups. Critics say the proposals mean heedless insults could result in prison sentences. Someone who creates hate speech that threatens life should expect three years. Aggravating factors include activity in a particularly social, uh, sensitive social climate. Social media users who share or comment on racist or anti-gay postings will face jail under rules proposed yesterday. I'm so glad they don't live in England. Oh my gosh. Advice for judges and magistrates recommends harsh punishment for those found guilty of stirring up hatred against racial, religious, or sexual minority groups. Among those jailed should be people who post comments or share online hate speech because they have been reckless as to whether they stir up hatred, say the proposal is sentencing counsel. I'm considered a, uh, a hate speech maker by posting what's in the Quran and Hadith. Uh, so would I get jail uh, time for showing what's in the Quran? I wonder. Those found guilty of hate trolling by commenting on sharing social media should typically receive a sentence of six months in jail. Anyone who is convicted uh, of originating hate speech that threatens anyone's life or which is widely disputed should expect three, G three years. Well, what about when you are a Muslim and you talk about how you're supposed to, you know, kill infidels. Isn't that uh, hate speech, you know? Okay, when, when even someone whose words or material were judged as hateful, but were not considered to have threatened life or reached a big audience, is likely to be punished, punishable for a year in jail. <laughs> well, I, I tell you what, if I were in England, I would get jail because, again, showing what in the Quran and showing what, what you feel is uh, stupid or evil in the Quran or Hadith is considered hate speech by Muslims. Okay, but critics say the proposals will mean young people who heedlessly throw insults against racial, religious, or sexual groups on the internet are at risk of prison sentences. The recommendations, which will be subject to three months consultation, come at a time of deepening sensitivity to racism and abuse about sexual, sexuality online. On top of long-standing concerns about material posted by extremists, accusations have been leveled against those in mainstream politics and other well-known individuals. Okay. Uh, anyway, the thing I uh, the thing that's interesting is that you're not supposed to be anti-gay, or you get what six months in jail. Well, what happens when a Muslim starts talking about how you're supposed to kill gays, thanks to Muhammad in the Sahih, sound that he's saying to kill those who engage in the actions of people of what? You know, to kill gay guys, you know? Are they free to say that? Because it'd be anti-religious to point that out, since it's, you know, dealing with Islam also. I mean, it sounds like they're going to be confused here, because, you know, you're supposed to kill gays in Islam. At least under in the hadith in the Quran you're just supposed to punish them but you know not kill them you're just supposed to you know hit them with shoes or something like that so man but what if what if a Muslim is into the hadith and not the Quran you know so yeah I guess they don't realize that in Islam you're supposed to kill gays so yeah and it's also anti-woman, you know. You're supposed to, you can beat your wife, according to Quran three, uh, Quran four thirty four. Uh, have sex with little kids, a little, a little girl divorced her. She, there's some period uh, thinks the Quran sixty five four. So, I think whoever came up with this is a little confused and doesn't realize what they're saying. So.